unique gas that has the potential to decarbonize aviation and help it achieve its net zero target. Not all hydrogen is the same though. There are three different types coloring today's thinking. Gray hydrogen, created from fossil fuels, uses a process called steam reforming that releases CO2, which is not captured. Blue hydrogen adopts the same process, but the carbon is captured and stored underground. It can be more environmentally friendly, but also technically challenging. And there's green hydrogen, produced through electrolysis using renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. Now, because there are no carbon emissions, this is the cleanest and greenest. When it comes to powering aircraft with hydrogen, there are two methods. Direct burn in a thermal gas turbine engine, where large volumes of hydrogen are required to ensure the aircraft has adequate range, and fuel cells, where the hydrogen is converted into electricity, powering an electric motor, which in turn drives a fan or propeller. Compared to the thermal gas turbine, this method delivers superior fuel efficiency for smaller regional sized aircraft. If hydrogen powered aircraft are to carry passengers commercially, airports will need new infrastructure, safety standards, and regulations. Based on consumption of 50 tons per day, which is enough to fuel the segment up to 150 seats, $150 billion of investment is needed for refueling infrastructure across 600 airports in the US, EU, and APAC regions. Storing the liquid hydrogen on the aircraft has its own challenges. Hydrogen provides more energy by mass than today's Jet A fuel, but at normal atmospheric temperature, you would need approximately 3,000 liters of gaseous hydrogen to achieve the same amount of energy as one liter of kerosene fuel. To transform from a gas to a liquid, hydrogen has to be stored at extremely low temperatures, and this demands specialist equipment and people. Another consideration is the size of the cryogenic tanks storing the hydrogen on the aircraft. They take up valuable space, reducing the number of seats and passengers affecting revenue. Taking these challenges into account, hydrogen is best suited to smaller regional aircraft. Embraer are already exploring and evaluating their own bold and viable solutions. The 19-seater Energia H2 fuel cell aircraft and the 50-seater Energia H2 gas turbine, which could be flying passengers by 2035 and 2040. Thanks for watching and join me next time.